Hello everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we have another Game of Thrones, the card game, second edition tournament video for you. We are interrupting the regular release schedule for regionals videos to uh, get up some United States 2016 Nationals videos from Origins Games Fair in Columbus, Ohio. That happened recently. I went down, I played. I didn't do too great, but I got some videos for you guys. On the left we have Dustin, he's playing Lannister Dragon. On the right we have John. he is playing a Lannister Wolf. And uh, the setup for the Lannister Dragon here, he's got a Tickler and a Sir Ellen Payne. So he's got eight gold, two cards spent there. And on the right we have Fast Eddie, Eddard Stark, gains power, throws a power over to another player, uh, participating in the challenge with him as a reaction. And he's got two Lannisport Merchants to reduce the cost of the next Lannister characters he plays. So three cards, eight gold on the other side there. This is the top 32 graduated cut. So the first day uh, we played uh, five rounds of Swiss. There was 86 players. Uh, after the first day, uh, we then uh, moved to a graduated cut, which was the top 24 players, and then up to 12 other players who tied the 24th place person, if I have that correct. So that's the top 32 players moved on. So there's quite a few three and twos, uh, like myself, that didn't make it because there were so many and then uh, the tie was broken by strength of schedule so they grabbed the top top 32 players and uh, 31 of them showed up the next day uh, someone didn't show up I believe and someone got a buy but uh, this is the first round of the two rounds of Swiss on the second day for the top 32 and this is the quote unquote top table number one uh, so on the left I believe Dustin at this point is undefeated they might both be undefeated I can't remember correctly but uh, I think they were undefeated 5-0 and at this point uh, when they played each other. So if you uh, the, you try to do good on the second day, uh, these guys, or the 32 players on the second day in the graduated cut, play two rounds and they're all fighting for the top eight. So then they move on to a top eight elimination, which I have a video from each round of that for you coming up. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, you can be notified when those go live. I'll try to put these in a playlist for you. So if you're coming late to the game, you can go back and uh, check out previous videos or go forward and check out videos, I guess in this case. And as a bonus uh, at the end of the series, I have also got the uh, Melee Finals, uh, the final table of four players from the Melee Tournament that was uh, uh, that happened uh, in the afternoon after this uh, part of the tournament uh, for Joust. Uh, so I'll have that uh, coming up on the channel. I know some of you guys really like the melee game, so I made sure I recorded that. Hopefully it turns out good. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Alright, so it looks like uh, the Lanny Dragon, Dustin, is going first. And uh, he's done his marshalling here. He's got Sir Jorah Mormont out there. He also played uh, two Landsport Merchants. He was able to play Grand Maester Pycelle and a Western Fiefdoms. Sitting on two gold, it looks like. And he just treachery to King's Road there uh, on the Lanny Wolf, uh, a.k.a. John's marshalling. Looks like Calling the Banners was played from the Laney Dragon, so he grabbed uh, a couple extra gold there uh, from the opponents having two characters out. Actually, three characters uh, was at one point. And then a noble cause. Oh, I see. He, uh, sorry, Illin Payne had killed one of the Landsport Merchants. I missed that there. And a noble cause was played uh, by John to reduce the next order lady he plays. It looks like he's about to do that now. And it is Tyrion Lannister. He's going to try to gain him two extra gold every time an Intrigue Challenge initiated. And he also played a uh, Stark reducing character. And Rick and Stark. One cost, one strength, no icons. Uh, he's a lord and he has an interrupt. He can basically be sacrificed to cancel a search ability uh, triggered by the opponent. So I believe we're on to challenges here. I see Pycelle was knelt there. It's either an intrigue or power, most likely a power challenge. If it was intrigue, would we not have seen Tyrion trigger? 
And it looks like Eddard uh, blocked that to get a renown. So it probably was power. Military? And we got a mil with military with Sir Jorah Mormont. Who's going to gain a betrayal token? Get an unopposed bonus. And we're going to kill a character on the other side with the claim one. It'll be Rick and Stark. Yep. And I will pass, sir. And that is the challenges for the Laney Dragon player. Over to the Lancer Wolf <laughs> player for his challenges. He still has Tyrion and a. Uh, I keep forgetting what those Stark reducing characters are called. I apologize. Composed. So it looks like an intrigue challenge there with Tyrion. Uh, no defenders. Got the two gold triggered off of him. Claims Magister Illyrio from the hand of Dustin. And we got a power challenge here with the weenie, which takes the only power off the uh, Lancer Dragon's House card there and gains an unopposed. And we got a Burnman jumping in for the two gold that was gained off of Tyrion to do a two strength military challenge. And we have the Tickler still standing on the other side, so he could block the uh, block the unopposed bonus, but he is not going to. And we're going to have a Landsport Merchant claimed. Okay, uh, that'll be it for okay. challenges. Uh, you win dominance. So Tickler. You dominance action. And we got dominance won by the Lanny Dragon, tickling Mountain Sir Ellen Payne. Nice to hit with the <laughs> yes. All right, so let's uh, take some dominance. Yep. Um, Stand all the things. And taxation if necessary, but I think we're both below. So. <laughs> yep. So after the first round here, we have the Laney Wolf player uh, sitting at four power. He's got one on Eddard, four on the house card. And we have the Laney Dragon player at two power, one on Sir Jorah Mormont, and another on his house guard. Yeah, I am too. You're all good. So while the players are choosing plots here, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to all the players and uh, I guess fans of the YouTube channel that came up to meet me at Origins and say hello, right. shake my hand, thank me for what I do. Uh, and I just want to say, like I said there, thank you for watching, thank you for your support. Without you guys I wouldn't be doing this. It was very humbling and uh, it was very nice to see you guys and meet a lot of new people, gain a lot of friends on Facebook from there. And uh, yeah, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys at future tournaments. You can be first player. So we have two Calm, uh, calm Over Westeros plots played. It looks like Dustin has chosen uh, John to go first. It sounds like he named military. And it looks like they both named military. And we got John putting the tokens out there for us so we know what's going on. So we have the Lanny Wolf uh, marshalling here. He's knelt, uh, he's knelt the Landsport Merchant. He's collected his uh, five gold. It looks like we got a six cost character here, which is Jamie Lannister. Put him into play, and that will be his marshalling. Over to the Laney Dragon for their marshalling. And we have Littlefinger played for five gold. Triggering the draw of two cards. Going to help boost the economy next round, assuming he's there uh, in marshalling. And it looks like uh, Sir Ilan Payne is going to chop the head off a uh, Winterfell Steward. All the marshalling there for the Laney Dragon player. Over two challenges for the Laney Wolf. Will he start with the usual Jamie in a military challenge because he doesn't <laughs> kneel to attack? And no, oh, looks like he wants to gain two gold there off Tyrion. So he is going to do an intrigue challenge to start. And that sounds like we got stealth on Littlefinger. And there's that two gold collected there from uh, Tyrion's ability. Is he trying to uh, set up the put to the sword? That's usually the play there when you go with uh, the Intrigue Challenge first to gain the gold before you do the military. And 
right now. Military does have Jamie with five. He's got uh, Eddard with six and a Burnman, so that should be 13 if I counted right. And uh, on the other side, it looks like uh, there is only six total with uh, Sir Jorah and the Tickler, so definitely in range of uh, Put to the Sword, uh, assuming uh, no Widow's Whales. And there is a Widow's Whale. Grab for Intrigue, speak of the devil. Couldn't be played anyway. He had no gold. But, uh, hurts either way. So we got a military challenge with Jamie. And uh, the Burnman adding another two. So that's seven strength military coming at him here. And he's going to throw Sir Jorah in there to uh, prevent any uh, put to the sword shenanigans. And we got no claim, but Jamie grabs her now. Now maybe that's all he's trying to do there. Or maybe if, uh, if Dustin uh, slipped up and let it go through unopposed, um, or just put the tickler in, would have been a put to the sword. So we have a power challenge with Fast Eddie here. And we have a block there from the Landsport Merchant, preventing the unopposed bonus. It looks like uh, the only power off the Laney Dragon's house card is stolen, and the editor will gain a renown. Putting the Laney Wolf player at uh, 9 power already in the second round here, but uh, we haven't seen Laney Dragon's challenges yet. Still has Pycelle, the Tickler, and Littlefinger standing. So we got Pycelle coming in with a uh, power challenge here, no defenders, drawing a card off Insight. And we got an Intrigue with uh, Littlefinger for 4 strength. And we got Jamie uh, stuffing it there with 5 strength. Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Four third challenges, I do have. Yeah. Actually, I'm play Looks like uh, Littlefinger gold, or sorry, Tyrion gold was forgotten, but he had to anyway. Yep. He's going to use right, that so to pop a burn man in. Just to grab, uh, just to actually Good. push dominance. Yes. And Tickler, uh, yeah, Tickler discards a copy of Tyrion off the top of the deck. Which lets him discard the copy of Tyrion in play. Yeah, makes it a little bit more manageable on your side of the board. <laughs> and Dustin is happy about that, and John is not so happy. Got some good pulls too on my in, on those entries. So. Who knows if uh, John would have had a treachery in hand there? If he gained the two gold off Tyrion, he might have been able to cancel that uh, from happening. Uh, but he did not know it was coming. So once you let once you let that pillage go, or that uh, tickler ability actually, not a pillage. It's just tickler's ability. Once you let it go, it's too late. I mean, you're in a very strong position. So. Oh, just to confirm, those Tyrion, that Tyrion is discarded, correct? Yes, with the both, both of them are discarded. Yeah, yep. so they're just clearing it up there. Tyrion is, both copies of Tyrion are in the discard pile. So if uh, John sees another one, he can play him. Ready, sir. Yep. On the dead pile. So we have close call played on John's side, the uh, Laney Wolf choice. player, and trading with Matoshi played on the Laney Dragon uh, well, side. I don't choose that till they revealed it. I know, but I don't think you have anybody. Yeah. Oh, like it's... Oh, Rickon. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It doesn't have to be. You need I just didn't see him sideways. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll nope, put him separate if that makes fine. it easier for you. That's fine. Um, anyway, yeah, sorry. I'm going to be first player. Okay. So it sounds like Dustin so, Laney Dragon has uh, chose okay. himself to go first. So we will make Rickon... And Rickon moves to uh, the discard pile from the dead pile using close call. And a card is drawn due to no winner plots being in play. And with three gold gained by the Laney Wolf player due to trading with Matoshi across the table. And let's see what Dustin can marshal with his ten gold from the plot plus the one bonus off of Littlefinger. And Illin Payne will kill the uh, Lansport Merchant with the first action before uh, John could kneel him to reduce the next Lancer character. And we got the Lansport Merchant, the Western Fiefdoms knelt here. Looks like he played, uh, paid two gold. Yep. Yep. Oh, maybe four gold, actually, sorry. Four gold to play a Sir Jamie Lancer and throw a duplicate on him. And seven gold paid to play yep. Miri Maz Murder. And I'm done, sir. All right, so I get another five. I'm sure you guys all know what she does. And for those that don't, she is an intrigue power icon, five strength. She has a interrupt. Uh, she can interrupt claim uh, in that step to there replace it with a targeted kill. There we go. <laughs> all right. This and uh, the mountain. 
AKA Sir Gregor Clegane is marshaled on the Lanny Wolf side. It looks like he's sitting on a gold. And no gold saved on the Lancer Dragon side. So in challenges, we've got an intrigue challenge coming here with Mary Maz Murder. Um, that will be unopposed. And no defenders unopposed. declared. Yep. Any reactions to winning? Okay. No reactions to winning. All right. Move to claim. Move to claim. Treachery. And John's nice and relaxed there. He's got the treachery hidden in hand. <laughs> Save the gold for it. Stops the Miri kill. So regular claim should happen. Uh, the claim still happens, right? Yeah. And, and yeah, they caught it. So you do still get the entry. Yeah, there you go. Any others? Actually, it was nope. unopposed. You're unopposed. And they forgot no, no, the no, unopposed bonus, but they corrected yeah, that there. Do it wrong. And uh, <laughs> Rattleshirts Raiders is grabbed for entry claim. So Jamie, Fast Eddie, and the Mountain are all uh, all dodged a Miri kill there. I heard a collective sigh of relief from those guys. All right, a power challenge again with Pycelle. Seems to be his thing in this game. Four cards? Yep. Now John could defend it with Fast Eddie or Edward Stark there to gain a renown, but uh, he probably wants to use him on offense to throw some extra renowned power round using his reaction but uh, you're gonna lose the power anyway if you let it go uh, unopposed and uh, let the, the opponent gain an extra power and draw a card so you gotta kinda weigh that there on what you wanna do and that's why he's taking the time here to really think it through and there he, th he thinks it out and he realizes that uh, he'll gain more on the defense there than if he just uh, let it go through and try to use uh, Edder Stark on the offense so he gains a power for Renown. And I think that's better than his opponent gaining two power and a card. So we got a military here with uh, Sir Jamie Lanster and uh, Sir Jorah Mormont. And it's uh, nine strength. And uh, the mountain will block and gain a Renown. Let's see what he gets for Pillage. And it's a Rose Road, so no reaction there. Hey, drawing all my characters, it's not gonna... <laughs> yeah, random or Yeah. Alright, um, I am done, so your turn. Um, so, we will do and over to Lanny Wolf. We got the military again with Jamie Lancer and uh, a Burn Men. Seven strength. And we're throwing in the second Burn Men here to bring it up to nine strength. He does attack to oppose. Yeah. It looks like Jamie Lancer will kneel to uh, defend for five. Alright, so claim one. Claim one. Claim this reducer. And a land support merchant is chosen for claim, and Jamie Lanister will gain a power for renown. Uh, no, I should have that up. Go me. Um, I will do entry. And Jamie's going to swing in for an entry challenge of five. And it doesn't look like we have any defenders but the tickler over there. Oh, sorry, we got uh, sorry Littlefinger for four. Uh, he's kind of blending in there. But, uh, yep, no reactions. Uh, this one is all right, and these intrigue pulls by John are all day. Of, <laughs> all day. Grabs a Tyrion Lannister. Well, let's hope for the Gregor. Let's hope for the Gregor now. Or the Jamie. Or the Jamie. Or the Ned. There's two of each of them, I think, in the day. Yeah, and you can right, see so Dustin really likes that tickler ability. He's just holding off on it. So he will get dominance again. There it is. And there's a mountain tickled off the top of the deck. They were just talking about that for the last round. Trying to get that. And he got it. Yep. I can't believe I think Dustin might be sitting on a horseshoe or two right now on his chair. Is that, uh, that's, a, that's a lucky pull there. Tyrion followed by a mountain using the Tickler. Tickler uh, is uh, he's the MVP of this game so far. How many cards you got? I have three. <coughs> and uh, I'm going to go put... Uh, at least a copy of Tickler back in my Lancer deck uh, as soon as I'm done this recording. I'm now a believer. Alright, so we got trading with Matoshi, played on the Lane Wolf side. He's trying to uh, get some characters uh, on the board caught up here to the giant board presence across the table from him. And the Game of Thrones is played uh, by Dustin, the Lane Dragon player. Uh, so each player has to win an intrigue challenge before they can do a military and or power. Um, see if they remember that. Seven, 
So looks like uh, John, the Laney Wolf player, is going first here. Let's see what he can do with his 10 gold. And Laney Wolf is sitting right now at, uh, it looks like, 10 power uh, to the Laney Dragon's 5 power. And uh, nice. Milk of the Poppies played on uh, <laughs> Yuri Mazdur. Then I will spend three for a Brothel Madam. And Brothel Madam will go out there to try to slow down the uh, military. But uh, Sir Ellen Payne chops her head off nice, nice and quick. There's a marshalling action. And it uh, looks like the Brothel Madam was a distraction to save the Hound's life there. And the Hound will come in for three. And it looks like uh, John has chose to sit on looks like three cards and three gold there. Let's see what Dustin can do. Yep. He's got the three gold from Pintoshi, uh trading with the Matoshi, sorry. And uh, he is uh, collecting some extra gold there from the plot, plus little finger, putting him an eight. <laughs> Looks like we have a seal of the hand put on Jamie Lanster. So he'll be able to get extra use out of him. And we have another hound played on the Laney Dragon side. And a milk of the poppy of his own on Jamie. And I am not. Alright. Uh, <coughs> no challenges. No challenges. So John the Laney Wolf players decide to pass on challenges. So play defense. I think it'd be a little different if Jamie didn't have that milk on him, but uh, slowed him down good with it, and he's not able to push through for a win here, I don't think. So he decides to sit back, and actually I just realized Game of Thrones plots out, so uh, Jamie would have to win an intrigue. He's only five strength, but that would easily be blocked on the other side. It looks like uh, an intrigue challenge was done here by Dustin, no defenders, gets an unopposed bonus. See what he grabs for claim. He gets another Rattle Shirts Raiders. And, and draws for insight off Pycelle. of uh, the White Book fame in the background there. Uh, he's yelling about, uh, I guess he lost his game, and he's it's not salty, he says, but uh, he wants some more cards. I'm not sure what faction he was playing, but uh, I think he just lost to a Lannister deck by the sounds of it. That was good meeting him there. Players slowing it down, taking it careful here, not wanting to make a mistake. Dustin's really thinking it through, and John's being very friendly uh, and uh, just taking it slow. I met John actually at the uh, Pennsylvania Regional the weekend before. A uh, very nice gentleman, uh, excellent opponent. He's very respectful, very respectful to his, uh, his opponents, uh, and I, I, uh, I admired that a lot. You won't, you know, you won't. That's really what it comes down to. Only taking out 12 costs worth of characters so far. <laughs> yeah, right. Which was necessary, to be fair. You are, you are doing quite well. Though, yeah, I definitely so. got the better draw overall. Yeah. So I do have uh, some more regional cut videos uh, coming up from uh, some past regionals and uh, some future regional videos coming up. 
I think I have three total regional series I recorded videos at, and I have another one coming up that uh, I should be going to in Montreal, uh, coming up on July 23rd, so if you're in the area or are willing to drive, uh, come to that regional. Uh, it's at BD Cosmos. Uh, you can see it on the Fantasy Flight Regionals page. Uh, but come up to uh, Canada uh, if you're in the States, and join us in Montreal for that regional. And if you're in Canada, in Ontario, or even east of Montreal, uh, stop by and join us. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the support. And you'll be notified of upcoming videos and streams and whatnot. And, uh, and I would appreciate it. So I think we have a power challenge here with Littlefinger. Course again. Three. For four strength, John's really thinking it through here. He only has three gold, so defending with the Hound could block it, but uh, the Hound's not going to come back out for some extra use right now. And there is still two gold sitting on Dustin's plot card there. So he could be just baiting John to kneel, uh, kneel some characters out here to weaken his military presence and try to possibly get a put to the sword through. like Edward Stark and the Hound will block to win. Force reaction, sending the Hound back to hand. And Edward will gain renown. Putting the <laughs> Laney Wolf player there at, uh, it looks like, 11 power now. And the Laney Dragon player is at 6. So we got a military challenge here with the Hound and uh, Sir Jimmy Lannister for 11. Looks like we only have uh, 9 military on uh, the other side with the 2 burn men plus Jimmy Lannister. Could see another burn men jump out here maybe. If uh, there still is a third one in the deck or possibly in his hand that we haven't seen yet. I don't recall one being discarded or killed yet. but. Uh, be an option. And uh, there it is, a third Burnman. It looks like a uh, seven block there, only using one of the Burnman. So no unopposed bonus. No put to the sword, but uh, one of the Burnman will be claimed and Jamie will gain a renown. And uh, I think they forgot the forced reaction there off the Hound. No more actions on my side. So we got dominance again by the Lanny Dragon, uh, well, and uh, so a ward is tickled off really the deck. Yeah. Right. Oh, sorry, force reaction. Yes. And there they right. caught the hound, so it does go back to hand. No worries on that. Can't hit every time. <laughs> now, if John's playing a wildfire, I believe now is the time to slap that bad boy down on the table. Maybe even a uh, first snow would be nice, but uh, he's playing confiscation. Both of them actually put down a confiscation. Uh, both trying to get rid of those milk of the poppies. Maybe maybe a seal of the hand off Jamie. But most likely the milk of the poppies. And yes, it is both copies of milk of the poppy are being put back in their owner's discard piles. So John just draw another copy of Fast Eddard there. For those that don't know, I keep calling him Fast Eddie because uh, there are two copies of Eddard Stark in the uh, card pool right now. Uh, one came out in the House Stark uh, Deluxe Box titled Wolves of the North. So usually people call it Corset Eddard and uh, Wolves of the North Eddard. Or seven cost Eddard and six cost Eddard. But uh, I like to call this Eddard Fast Eddie because if he gets going with another person in the challenge, throwing around Renown all day, he can uh, close the game pretty quick on his own. Gotta watch out for him. So we got Ill and Payne killing one of the burn men. And we saw that dupe put on uh, Eddard there. Yeah, that's it. And 
looks like uh, he's going to sit on four gold and not marshal anything on the Laney Wolf side, other than the duplicate on Eddard. So he's looking to jump a hound in. He doesn't want to put him in now, uh, just in case Ellen Payne goes off for some reason. You never know when an Illyrio comes into play and uh, can stand him in marshalling to get some extra use out of him. But, uh, Rovers Laney Dragon for challenges. He threw in his hound there again. Sitting on three gold. Go power. And it looks like we had a power challenge here with Littlefinger and uh, Pycelle for six strength total. Just trying to uh, pull some power away. Make sure uh, Eddard can't just defend it this time. And get a card draw off it, hopefully. <coughs> and we have the Laney Dragon player at 8 power right now. And the Laney Wolf player uh, is at 11. No defenders declared. So we're going to have some power gain here. Power stolen. For, uh, and then unopposed. And looks like another insight draw. So Dustin having a nice flow of card draw here this game. High cell going to work every round. And we got the intrigue challenge with uh, Miri Mazdur here. Is there a Widow's Whale or a Treachery hiding in there? Maybe a Nightmares, that could save him. How many cards in hand? But he does have dupes on his two important characters. So he declares no defenders. Gains an unopposed power. Will he choose to replace the claim with Miri's yeah. ability? <laughs> this is a hard choice. I know. And you can hear him there saying it's a hard choice. He's not sure what to do. Sometimes you gotta go, just go with the regular claim, uh, I find. I um, just to get the game under control. It takes a card out of hand. I'm not sure how many cards he has there, but it looks like only one or two. This is a 50s 50 gamble for you. Yep. We know the hound's in there. He's got two cards. He's debating going at the hound in hand. 50 50 chance. Or just taking a dupe off of uh, Eddard or Jamie. So, no interrupt. He is going to go for regular claim. Gets the another Rattle Shirts Raiders. I'm not sure if that's three we've seen now uh, from the Laney Wolf player. Uh, but uh, the hound does survive. He is hiding in hand. Is playable right now with four gold. Interesting the way John didn't want to jump him out there, but uh, I guess it was too late at that point once once the claim replacement option happens. They offered actions, but nothing happened, so too late to get the hound out there. Military here with uh, Sir Jora for four and Jamie Lannister for five, so that's nine strength. Could block with uh, Eddard and Jamie and get three power out of the defense. Uh, it's Eleven, but you got to be careful for the Widow's Way. Might have to throw in the Burnman there. <laughs> But uh, this being the third and last challenge, I, I would just possibly do that on the defense. You don't really want to expose one of your characters. You don't want to kill that burn man to leave yourself uh, open for March to the Wall next turn. So you'd probably take a dupe off for claim, but uh, that exposes them to Miriam as murder there. And uh, if she uh, is able to go off next turn, she will kill that character. So I think the right play here is just to play defensive, throw them all in. 
I think Whittle's Whale is all that can really happen. And that would bring him up to 11. He could throw the Hound in and get him involved in the military challenge. Uh, he's sitting at 10 power. He could shoot up to 13 here. Just the Burnman? Just the Burnman. But uh, he chooses to just block with the Burnman. Block the unopposed. Letting Dustin. Uh, looks like he's going to shoot up to. Uh, he's got nine on the house. Now he's got two on Jorah and two on Jamie. So throwing him up to 13 power here. Two away from the win. And then. Ambush the Hound? So the Hound does come in for gold. Ambushed him in. And then military. Yeah, I was done with mine. Oh, so. I'm sorry, did you have something? Nope, I was done with mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got military here. I don't know why Jamie's kneeling, though, but... Uh, uh, 11, 17. So we got a military challenge for 17. 11, 12, 13. Oh, he's in town. And there, we caught it. Jamie is not knelt. So he chooses to do the military on the offense. Instead of playing defensively with uh, with the characters, and uh, we've got Jamie exposed here because of the duplicate chosen uh, to save him from claim. No cards in hand. Like come out. So two gold spent here on a burn men on the Laney Dragon side. No possibility of a put to the sword. There is uh, no gold left for that. And looks like the most he can defend with. He's got five from Jamie, six from the Hound. That's eleven, plus two from each of the Tickler and the Burn Men, getting him up to fifteen. But, uh, it's 17 on the other side, so it's a little out of reach. Even with a Widow's Whale, he still has a gold there, but it's not enough. Just depending on how much he wants to put in here, he most likely wants to save his Tickler. He's been getting some good hits off that ability. Trying to make sure that there's no some, some crazy shenanigans here. Got good. You Dustin really, really playing cautiously. He's just trying to make sure he doesn't get burned here. He's trying to trying to figure out how much to put in. I think John's just doing it to get three three power there. Renown on Jamie, a renown on Eddard, then Eddard's ability triggering to throw power probably over to Jamie. Uh, so force reaction. Force reaction. Uh, oh, what do you got? Treachery. So a treachery on the hound going back to hand. He's trapped him in play. Not sure why there. What? Yeah, yeah. And a burn man chosen for claim. And uh renown. Yep. Reaction with Ned. And yep, Ned's reaction is going to give Jamie the power. Um, Putting him at... Uh, so we've got Jamie defending an intrigue here with five, against five. Somebody grabs here for claim, no unopposed power. I want you to be able to figure out exactly which ones. And it's a Western Fiefdoms. Looks like uh, he was saving that in hand for uh, Intrigue Fodder there. And let's see what the Tickler grabs. He grabs a Brothel at him. And gains another power for Dominance. So the Lannister Banner of the Wolf player here. Uh, looks like he is sitting at 13. And uh, the Lannister Dragon player. Does he have their 10? So he's at 14. He's uh, one away. So we got March to the Wall played on both, both sides there. Fourteen to thirteen, Lady Dragon in the lead here by one power, one away from winning. I suppose that I will first play. And uh, less power on the Laney Wolf side. He chooses to go first. Resolve your march. We both choose character. I choose the hound. I'll choose. So hound chosen for march to the wall on one side, Pycelle on the other, and the second march will go off. And we got the tickler and the burn men are the targets. Uh, 
We've got Laney Wolf going first, just drew two cards. Hopefully top deck something useful to help him push through some challenges here. This game's only four gold. Really tight on the economy here on the Laney Wolf side this game. And we've got uh, that awesome guy Rob St. John there moving the camera around for us. Just trying to make sure we can see everything. Some of the plots there sliding off of the table. Or off the mat, sorry. And the characters sliding off the mat on the other side, trying to get those in shot. So I apologize for the earthquake cam here. So we got the big bad uh, Targaryen loyalist put into play here on the Lanny Dragon side. I believe the Lanny Wolf player just decided not to marshal anything and sit on the four gold. Get lucky and get another hound. Doesn't want to put him in play to get chomped by Illin. I guess uh, the Lanny Wolf player is definitely not playing Wildfire because that would be the time to play it. And we got a Nightmares played in challenges here on Eddard. John's going to do. He's in a tough spot here. He goes in with military. You can have, uh, you gotta be careful with Jamie being in the defense there uh, to gain a powerful renown, but uh, Sir Jorah's sacrifice would go off first and he would lose two power. So we got a military challenge of 11 here with uh, Eddard with no renown and no ability. And we got Jamie uh, also in the challenge. Won't be a game game winning one unless it's unopposed, but uh, I doubt Dustin's gonna let that happen. And there we got the block with the hound. Actions on my side, you do win. Yep. Claim one. We got the hound and Jamie actually going in on the block. Jamie's gonna stand for seal the hand here. Yep. And Jamie's dupe is chosen for claim. Hound doesn't go back because he didn't win it. Uh, Jamie does get a renowned power, but puts him only at uh, only at 14. I don't think it's going to be enough. Dustin just has to win with Jamie. So it looks like it's Dustin's turn. He's going to do the intrigue challenge with uh, Miri Mazdur. Jamie's going to block, but Miri's going to win. Treachery to block? Oh no. Maybe he didn't have the treachery, but he's shaking hands. It's over. John graciously graciously calls it right there. And congrats to Dustin for winning his first game of the top 32. Two rounds of Swiss. So we got another round of Swiss coming, then a cut to top eight. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that one. It's coming up soon. And I appreciate all the support. Thanks, thanks to everyone that I met at uh, Origins. It was a fun time and it was great meeting a lot of people there. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, thanks as always for watching and all your support.